Ooh, 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 ooh. Pickle. And pickles. Did you say pickles? Yeah. Why? It sounded like you said pickles. You said hey cool, but it kind of sounded like pickle. P pickle. Pickle. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the pickle special. Charlotte and Zeke play Let's Go Pickle Chew. Pickle. You! It's really dangerous here. You came to save me? You can't. I'm in a terrible marriage. There's no door. Oh, wow. You actually have to slide over <laughs> the desk. <laughs> Is this a theatre? Oh. These guys are hostages, but also arguing and won't talk to each other. <laughs> I like that, yeah. They can't even sit together to be like, I think we'll get out. Team Rocket must be after the Master Ball, a poker ball that's guaranteed to catch any Pokemon. I bet they're going to make us lots of Master Balls. Or make us make lots of Master Balls for them to use. Well, I mean, why not? Oh, hi! <laughs> You're not a rocket! You came to save us? <laughs> why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Lapras? Oh, yes, of course. Because someone was going to give us a Porygon, I didn't think we'd get a Lapras. It's a Lapras, a very intelligent Pokemon. Mm -hmm. We kept it in our lab, but it would be much better off with you. It loves to swim. That's good. There it is. Oh, I like Lapras. Me too. Mm. A gentle soul that can understand human speech. Which makes you wonder if every Pokemon can or can't and how they understand their battle commands. Well, a dog doesn't actually know English. True. It, like, it's worked out... Like, it doesn't know what sit means, but it knows what I want it to do when I say it. That's true. Like, if I, if I told our dog, like... It's, Go sit in your room. If my dog had a room of its own, she'd like just it, sit on the floor. Yeah, she'd look at me and sit and be like, "Where's my treat? Where's my treat, eh? Where is it, baby?" Okay, so this episode. Where's me? You're up there. This episode. I want to talk about a serious topic, one that's been affecting both of our lives. This fucking scientist. It's not this scientist, he's not the issue. Is he not an issue? I think he's an issue. <laughs> you mistook him it, for a silk worker? It, is it that? Asking to go out the door again when we're recording? Did the dog just do yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Zeke, cut us out with a technical... technical error thing. A technical problem rainbow. Okay, we're back. Now I can finally talk about this very serious topic. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not a clue. I'm going to talk about anxiety, but not just anxiety. New game anxiety. Oh. Because we were talking about this earlier, and I think it's interesting. And um, Charlotte particularly gets um gets anxiety about starting a new game, and like to a lesser extent, starting like new TV shows and stuff too, mm. where you feel. I don't know, you just you feel pressure to do it, or yeah. to do it well, even though you've never done it before. And I'm wondering if anyone else gets that. I mean, it'd be interesting to hear if anyone else does. So. Yeah. It's okay, I thought I was wondering why my Joy-Con wasn't working, but I was stuck in thrash. Because, like, for me, it's just, like, the idea of starting, like, I guess anything new, but, like, it's particularly games. It's just sort of like, oh, but what if I do it wrong? What if I don't like the thing everyone else likes? You don't like the things everyone else likes already, though. It's why it's like, it's so strange. Yeah. Because, like, we were talking about this, and we weren't just, like, trying to, like, prove Charlotte wrong. Ooh, Hydro Pump. I mean, you say we as if there was other people. There was just me and you. But, yeah, that's still more than one person. That's true. We were both a part of the conversation. And we were both saying, like... There's this point, uh, but then there's this example of shit that I do every day that counteracts that argument. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I don't want to dislike the thing that's popular that everyone likes. And then it's like, you don't watch TV because you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, like I've got two work colleagues that are just like, oh my god, Skyrim, Fallout, they're the best. And I'm just like, nah. No, I don't <laughs> like them. Would you like Hydro? I don't know. How does it compare to Scald? 110 damage, 80 accuracy, 5 PP. 
15 PP, 70 damage, 100 accuracy, 80 damage, 100 accuracy, and the. I'm gonna stick with the uh, scald. I like the consistency of scald. Mm. But also, I like the uh, the chance of a burn, which potentially ups my uh, low baby HP health. My low baby HP health. My low baby HP. But yeah, and there was another point earlier that was um. You uh. You like. Oh, look, it's Frival. Oh. He's cool. really mad at the painting. Oh, that's where side. we'd fight Gary, normally. Oh, oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, there was another point that we you know, talked about earlier, and I can't quite remember it. Do you remember vaguely how we brought it up? Well, it was in this whole video game anxiety topic. Hmm. Um. It may have been. I don't know, it might have just been that it's also quite inconsistent, now that I think about it, that we wanted to mention. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you say, it, like, it happens with new games, games you haven't played and stuff. Yeah. But then some games, you're just like, oh no, I'm down to do that. Like, um, played a hat in time. Yeah. And, like, you, you, you didn't, like, look up anything about the game beforehand. You were just like, yeah, let's go. I don't know. It's like, I wonder what actually causes it. I feel... Because, like, it sounds like a performance anxiety. Yeah. But then, like, like I do get it with watching new TV shows, and it's like, there's no performing there. It's sitting on your butt. Yeah. It's it's strange. I want, Like, I wonder if other people get this, because I got it when I was younger, but I haven't got it for a very long time now. That's just it. I don't think I had it when I was younger. I think it's just something that's developed over time. Hmm. But with me, it's the opposite. Mm. Like, the only real example I remember of it is, um, I told you this earlier, but it was, um, when I was little, I wanted a game, uh, Yoshi's Story on the N64 for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And I got it, and I was nervous to play it, so I let my brother play first, so I could see what was actually going to happen. Yeah. And I don't know why it sort of, like, freaks me out, you know? No, like I'm, I'm much calmer after having watched people like start a game that like I'm curious about playing. Yeah, like ninety percent of the games that you love, you have played because you've watched me play them. Yeah. Like that's the reason you got into the Binding of Isaac and Oxygen Not Included and mm -hmm. Slay the Spire. Mhm. Mm and God, there must be more. What? Looks like Dodo's attack. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were trying to signal me to something. No, I no. I mean, you were, but... <laughs> um, what else was that? Um... um... Uh, yeah, we talked about a few earlier. We played Breath of the Wild last. Yes. Yeah, so but played... we think that that might have just been... Because I'd started work when yeah, it came out. Yeah, and... you might have been at work, and we didn't have our own Switch, so yeah. like it, you were only playing it when we went to visit you know, my brother. Yeah. But likewise, when we were living with your brother... You two both played Splatoon first, and I played it last. Yeah. Like, you both actively asked me if I wanted to go first, and I was, you know, just backing away, like, no, 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 it's fine. Yeah. Oh, actually, that Splatoon reminded me of the thing. Mm -hmm. The thing that I wanted to bring up before was that, for a while, you thought that, like, you'd be very bad with online games. Yeah. Because you were like, oh, no, I don't want to let people down. But then it's like, you play so many games online and you're yeah. just like oh, fuck it I don't care and like re like you tried Fortnite a while ago you didn't like it but you tried it and you didn't have any anxieties mm. about it you just picked it up and went I wonder if it's because I didn't have any expectations towards liking it like I assumed I was going to dislike it oh so you think like it could have some roots in like it could have some roots in Setting your expectations high and not wanting them to be ruined. Yeah. I could see that. Does that make sense with a hat in time? Like, I saw so many people raving about it. But, like, every time I saw a screenshot of it, it was just like, yeah, this is kind of ugly and You think whatnot. a hat in time's ugly? It is in stills. I think it's because it's a little low res. Mm. But, you know, that was deliberate. Yeah, so I, I never really saw much of gameplay. I only ever really saw still images. And it's like, eh. 
But then, like, you know, when playing it, it's just like, oh, this is cute. I, think, you know, I don't think I ever really saw any gameplay of it. Like, I sort of actively avoided it because I wanted to play it. Ah. Hey, cute. the staff room. Cool. The man next to me, he's such a coward. Oh dear, oh dear, help me please. Bigger than our staff room. Our staff room is a chair. Go back this way. This way? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the, the layout? Vaguely. Okay. But, yeah, do we go in this? Come out of this? Uh, I don't think we've been in or out of this. Should we be, 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 be? Yeah, the, the staff room where we work is a sink and a chair inside the warehouse where we keep the stock. That makes it sound really bad, but like it's, <laughs> it's not actually that bad because the warehouse is in the building. It's not like a cold old shed. Yeah. So uh, maybe through this. Go for, go for it. But yeah, anxiety about starting new games or shows or like books or anything. Yeah. Do you get it? Recreational, probably performance anxiety. <laughs> Recreational anxiety. <laughs> what do you do in your free time? Well, <laughs> I get nervous about everything. <laughs> Shh, can't you see I'm hiding? I mean, you're doing a pretty good job, actually. Yeah. Oh. Not like me, I'm the master hider. <laughs> well, you're dead. No. I'm telling you, you're a ghost. We're on floor four. How do we get to floor four? Jumping through the warpy pads. Oh god, where do we go? Don't look at me. I think we've already fought him, haven't we? Yeah, I don't think he'd be moving like that if we did. Oh. oh. Hello. I stopped moving because I got lost. Wait, we went up there. Yes. Was there two warps up here or just one? Ah. There was none. <laughs> there was no warps. Well, let's try going back through this. Okay. If if I start to feel like I'm recognizing the place, then I'll let you know. Yeah, like shout at me. Yeah. Just like see now. Ooh, no, well, well we haven't been here. Because we, we oh, steal yeah. everyone's stuff. We do. One hundred percent of the time. Well, yeah, you look fucking terrified. Your body language is screaming <laughs> terrified. It's screaming interview. That's what it's screaming. Oh God, it really is, isn't it? Welcome to 10F. Not F10. 10F. And not the 10th F. No. There's enough room in the text box <laughs> in a modern game to write the 10th floor. There is. Or just 410. <sighs> so mad video games. <laughs> video games. I'm so mad. <sighs> I'm gonna thrash about. <sighs> Furious. Mmm. Just live it. You're living the dream there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Drinking Diet Dr. Pepper and <laughs> playing Pokemon. You'd make John Green proud. No, I'm not playing Fortnite. And I'm also well, not playing Pokemon as a pacifist. I don't think you can play Pokemon as a pacifist. <laughs> Well, I'm a pacifist. My Pokemon are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> what a shitty excuse. Well, I'm a pacifist. I'm just the army general. I tell them to shoot and they don't have to listen. <laughs> I'm thinking now, how possible is it to play Pokemon as a pacifist? Literally impossible. Like, it might take a while, but if you got them down to struggling... Oh, like you're right. You're right, but I can make an argument so I don't have to ever try this. I'm not telling you to try it. I'm just <laughs> saying that... Someone will want us to try it. Okay. <laughs> Flamethrower. Give it to... Uh, what's his name? Pikachu. No, um... Switchy. Game Champion 3000? He can do it. Flamethrower? No. The challenge of beating Pokemon as a pacifist. Oh. I'm trying to remember his name, but he did the like uh, the Mario Odyssey without jumping and playing through oh. uh, playing through Pokemon Red with just Ditto. Yeah, I remember that. Um, Jigglypuff can learn Flamethrower. That's probably it's, better than Fire Punch. It's better specially. So, boop. Boop. 
Ba-doop. I can't believe my balloon, my cute balloon, breathes fire. Your cute balloon is like the most versatile Pokemon we've got. It's why I'm so happy to have him, honestly. No, just because you cute your face. He's so cute. He's so cute. Well, like, that helps, don't get me wrong. Where the hell do we go? Did we come out of this one down? Yes, we've gone up, okay. down, and back through a lot of those. Up, down, all around. Have we been here ever? Probably. Do, 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 do. Let's go on it. Okay. What were we talking about before? Oh, uh, playing Pokemon as a pacifist. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I have an argument. I've got to go the other way. That'll help me never have to do it. Go on that road. This one? Yeah. I want to get that item first. Okay. But I will remember that. But yeah, is it really pacifism if you're playing the game with the intent of forcing your enemy to damage themselves? Okay, that, that's a fair point. Is that real? Tr I guess, is that true pacifism? I guess that is kind of next level thinking about it. Yeah, that, that's some matter. Yeah. That's some matter um, pacifism right there. I suppose then John's pacifism is to let the storm kill the person that is last with him. I think John's is a little more forgivable in Fortnite, like mm. trying to win as a pacifist, because that person could stay until the very end with him. It's true. But like either way, they're both agree. Like they could both agree we're not dying together. No, no, we are dying together. We're not going to kill each other. Yeah, I'm just double checking oh, that we had been. No, we've been through that furthest one. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to dig in. Here we are. Hey. Dig, digging into my brain banks for it. <laughs> yes, yes. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was just going to fight us without <laughs> saying anything. I thought there was just a power surge. <laughs> That's far enough. <laughs> Oh wait, what did all the Team Rockets sound like? Um, who are you again? Me, again, as many times as it takes. This summer! This summer, I will not let you reach the boss. Huh? What was that? Reach the boss? Zeke, do you think? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think, I just do. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, I know the boss is here. Go, Zeke! I'm not a Pokemon. <laughs> you, use low kick. Oh, it would be more fun if I fought him. No, he's fending him off so you can go fight Giovanni. Oh, yeah, but we could have done it to... Right. We could have. It would have been cool. It would have been cool. The Pokemon isn't cool, it's for babies. It is. Baby Pokemons, look at them. See ya. I was going to say, this. Giovanni looks terrible. <laughs> 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 Giovanni got old. Wait, they're calling us a twerp. That can only mean <gasps> one thing. Uh oh. It's a double battle that I don't get to be in. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. Meow. I love that James has a rose. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> He's so gay. Only for roses. <laughs> gay for roses. <laughs> Why hasn't James ever had a rose earlier? I don't know. Right? He always gets the grass Pokemon that thorny and kick his ass. Because he got a Cacnea and they gave a Roselia to Drew because he also liked his fawns and just flirting with people. Oh. He, he was all suave and... Like, I, okay, I get it, but also... <laughs> it'd be a good fit for him. I it love would. the Team Rocket having Mimikyu now. Me too. You have to do both. Fuck, you're right, I was having a drink. <laughs> I was like, finally, yeah. the stressful job of hitting the A button is done. No, it's it's just I can't. I think I gotta use Rody. Forever the biggest kick in the teeth with this game. When there's actually an important double battle, player two doesn't get to join in. Yeah, like I've gotten over it. But don't get me wrong, I'm still genuinely upset about it. But it's just like Whatever. Imagine all the little kids whose hearts are broken because, like, they're playing with a friend. It's like, yeah, we're going to take on Team Rocket from the TV. Aww. And one of them gets booted off. Yeah. 
Also, you ever noticed how... I might have mentioned this, but I've been thinking it for a while. You ever noticed how Weezing doesn't actually have holes? He's just got, like, pimples. I think you mentioned that with coughing before. I might have, but... And they've both got the same problem. It's gross, right? In the show, he had holes. Yeah. Which was somehow less gross. Well, no, because, you know, he spewed out gas, so, like, it made sense. But now he's spewing out gas, just, like, through his pores. Uh, yeah, it's like he's got very... He's very spongy in his texture. Yeah. Hmm. Jesse and James should get another Pokemon. Don't you think? What, what, just like over the course of this game? Yeah, we've just stomped. I hate kids. <laughs> <laughs> Rody. <Well. laughs> Rody, come on, man. One of the greatest things James has ever said. I hate kids. Just like always. Looks like Team, Team Rocket's Rocket blasting, blasting off, off again. again. What's up? Not much. Oh wait, Pikachu wants me to waggle at it. Waggle waggle. <laughs> I love that <laughs> face. You. you know what, Switchu, you're alright. <laughs> yeah. Best feature in the game, right here. Just wiggle his cheeks. Wiggle wiggle. Yeah. Yeah, touching its face. Okay. Alright. Next episode. We won't go in this room, it doesn't look very important. No. See you. Bye.